Hey guys, we're watching Bluey and the new episodes. And hi, I'm Bluey. If you want us to watch more Bluey, or maybe I'll say the special Australian word that starts with a C, get this video to 10,000 likes. And if you guys want to see our full commentary and a special total drama, Revenge of the Island series, head over to Patreon.com to spell in the middle. Subscribe for Bandit because he wants you. Also, we have a plushie out right now. Click the link in the top of the description. You can buy this beautiful product it's great, high quality. Makeshift did a great job with the design, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's only available till May 22nd, so buy it before it's gone forever. So there's Chili Bingo, Bandit, and Bluey. We're getting up in the ages now that I'm like, whenever I watch Bluey, like, I'm thinking about starting a family. And this is the reminder not to. Are you the house selling person? Yes, and have I got the perfect house for you. Ta-da! Oh, is this the episode where they sell the house and then it's like really dramatic? This leads into the dramatic episode. They have like continuity and bluey. It's called contabluity, thank you very much. Is anyone living here at the moment? Yes, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> the sound the kids made hitting the door. That's child abuse right there. This is the most unrealistic part of the entire show. The parents are playing pretend with each other. The kids weren't even outside with them. They're so committed to the parenting role play that they're just doing it with each other. It's gone too far. This is what happens when two star-crossed lovers meet in improv class. They're running the bit till the day they die. Onto the living room. Boy, hang on. I like these work tops. Is this silky oak? What's with people who speak English in other countries just pretending like countertops or work tops now? Like, am I supposed to pretend like I'm okay with that? It's for like stay at home moms and like dads because their job is to look after their kids is work, but people don't see it as that. So the cook tops is the work tops. Oh, it's because women don't go to work. Rihanna would beg to differ. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's get going. Uh, out this original heritage window. Like every other Bluey video, I'm just complaining that this family is like extremely fucking rich because their house is so nice. And it's like ridiculously understated just how nice their house is. This episode is just a subtle flex. They're basically like those family vloggers that like are secretly behind the scenes like really problematic, but they're showing off their like $5 million mansion and shit. Bandit's not problematic. He's fucking thieving the pussy like behind the scenes, bro. You know, he's actually like problematic as hell. He's like Shay Carl. I don't even know who that is, man. Do you think Dog Tard would like this uh, episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lay I'll take it. Huh? Really? Yep. I feel like this episode is kind of like if I was a parent in Australia, I'd be like, sorry, kids, not this episode. Because like the Australian housing crisis is so real. I feel like I would just break down and cry as a parent. That's what so many adults watch Bluey for is that they see the pure innocence of the show and they literally like break down and cry because their life is so full of fucking sadness. We need to watch a Bluey analysis video where the reviewer just starts crying. <laughs> 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 Wait. This bit is just their fantasy. Buying a nice house. No, his fantasy was the children leaving. <laughs> and Vanda's like, finally. But look, I can't do this every time. Wait a second, it wasn't role play. It was real, that's the plot twist. How do they make a 30 minute long Bluey episode? Well, we're about to find out. So are they gonna stretch a six minute episode to 20 minutes or they're gonna have multiple plot lines? This feels like a foreign concept. I can't even imagine how they're gonna pull this off. For Bluey, this is the equivalent of when like your standard length TV show gets a movie. Yeah, they should have the Simpsons shading. But this job pays a lot more money, which means we can give you kids a better life. But you guys are already fucking rich, bro. Like, who the fuck cares, bro? Dude, you have a giant mansion, bro. What do you mean? I'm not gonna lie, this episode kind of upsets me. Like, cause I already know how it ends. And it's like, it ends with no character development. I'm just like, uh. You have to see how it's done. All right, all right, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Not gonna lie, I was at a party and someone was like, basically said that to me. I was like, I don't know. You're at a party talking about <laughs> I'm not, yes. I'll never see any of you ever again. What? Oh. <laughs> I wish we did that as children. Once 
There was a farmer who owned a beautiful horse. His neighbors came to visit. Is that like all the Chinese people like buying all the real estate in Australia? Does that represent like the Chinese dog? Horse, that's spirit. Played by Matt Damon. Where's the Matt Damon monologue? The next day, soldiers came to the village and made all the young men join the army. Call yourselves dogs. That's not a farmer, that's a dog. Okay, minor detail, but as the pages were being flipped, the book had the exactly correct amount of pages all throughout and that's the bluey touch did you see that bingo just said a slur oh my god c-u-n-t-i-n-g serving con for you and <laughs> Make us move, Dad. This is the only episode where I'll understand people when they're like, Bluey hits, like the deep themes of Bluey. Because people bring up like the vasectomy episode, like the miscarriage episode. But like 90% of that episode is just the kids being kids and being stupid. This episode seems like it's about adults being stupid this time. Well, I feel like this episode is good just because it's an issue that is equally hard to cope with for every member of the family. And like the kids understand it to a different extent as the parents, but it still affects them all, you know what I mean? She's upset because she doesn't want Dad to sell her house, but I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Bingo doesn't give a fuck. That's why Bingo's the best character, because she's just vibing. Bingo's like, Bluey, why are you being such a sad little bitch about it? Do you mind if I take the for sale sign down for the wedding? It's a bit of an eyesore. Great idea. My brain is kind of broken right now. Like, Chili was just talking to a woman who had, like, normal hair. It was, like, done so elegantly. And Chili is just a normal dog. Why are you glazing it, though? You you said it was elegant. Look how fucking hot she looks with the hair. That's hot bitch hair. She's so nice. Don't tell me how to feel. Whoa. Whoa. Sweetheart, this. <laughs> they just kicked Nomeo. Dude, Sherlock Gnomes just got murdered, bro. Who did it, bro? She yelled at Uncle Red. She said what the hell was that thing? Really fast! That sounds when you like step on a dog toy and it makes like the squeaking sound. Or when you step on a dog and it makes a squeaking sound. This is the worst day of all my life. Bluey, you'll have to sit in the front seat. <gasps> Wait, Bluey gets front seat privilege, bro. Bluey's a big girl now, bro. That's crazy. And then they're gonna crash into Brian Griffin, like the one meme where they crash into Bluey Griffin. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh Dude, my god, Eden. he's just like Eden! Dude, you're literally bluey! About four years old can ride in the front seat if all the other seats are taken. Well, there you go. Wait, they pulled him over because Bluey was in the front seat? Wait, she educated a police officer on what the law was and he was like, okay? That would never happen. This is the most chill police officer ever. She's not even stressed out about being pulled over. That's Brisky's favorite juice shop. Brisky's getting a juice! Time, Bobo! Bro, she just pulled away like that from a cop, man. That's badass. Yo, dog privilege is real, bro. And she parked in a handicapped spot. What is wrong with this <laughs> woman? Find a penny, pick it up. All day long, you have good luck. Oh, I don't think she's here, kids. I have a dog crush. Woof. Dog crush Tuesday. Dude, there's something extremely satisfying. Bro did not just say dog crush Tuesday and try and move on from that. <laughs> you said that shit. You have to live with that for the rest of your goddamn life. Okay, you can't be giving him shit after you said, I have a dog crush. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Muffin, that's not a puppet. Ah! I gotta go. <laughs> what is that? This is such a funny angle. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. You got the whole rectangle right there. She has that trying to fit the square ass into the round hole, you know? Bluey needs whiskey for the sign. What sign? <laughs> why are you afraid of a butterfly? That's why you know Muffin's like an evil character. It's a butterfly. That's like the one bug everyone likes. Dude, she has had to pull over from this vehicle like 15 times. I would be going insane at this point in time. Of course. I know where you are, Frisky. A sign from God. This is the lookout. Frisky and I used to come up here as teenagers to, um, think. Wait, was that a weed joke? <laughs> I didn't know Chili was chill like that, bro. You know Chili be smoking fatties with her friend, dude. The wedding is over. So, we still have to move. Oh my god, Frisky. Oh, her name is Frisky, too. Like, Rad and Frisky are probably a great couple. Uh, you think I want to move? 
What? I thought you did. My bitch husband wants me to move, and I doesn't he like travel for his job? Like he's like an archaeologist, right? That's what I thought. Is he becoming like a college teacher or something? That's a pretty good gig. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. I feel like if, if you're a parent and you watch this show with your kids, you are just setting yourself up to have like some crazy high expectations as a parent. I know you like it here. I do. Oh, he has ears though, but she doesn't. I mean, sometimes pets get their ears removed because of cancer, Jack. So maybe she's a cancer survivor and you're making fun of her. She is my dog crust trues day or whatever, man. Yo, hit it! Hit it, Bluey! What the fuck? This is how I'm trying to have my wedding, bro. Everybody shows up with no clothes on. Whoa, is that allowed? Are dogs allowed to kiss? <laughs> That's chocolate cake. Dogs will die if they eat that. It's the red wedding. They poisoned the fucking food. It's the brown wedding, dude. That's why everybody was freaking out about this episode. Did you know that, like, dogs can microdose chocolate? Do you think that dog was microdosing that chocolate cake? Oh, it'll be Lovely having you two close by. Yeah, it will, but what about your job? The dog on the right, Rad, has such a weird color palette because he's like, he's half blue and half orange. He looks like Sorbet. He's a mutt, bro. You know he's a mutt. He's like 20 different breeds in one. He's so breedable. Oh my god! Bluey flossing! They're flossing. Let's go. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If I was 12 years old, those 10 seconds would have been the coolest fucking thing in my entire life. Well, I feel like that's literally what happened is they're like, well, it's been too much adult bullshit. We need to remind the kids that they're watching a children's cartoon. If this show was actually good, Bluey would be hitting the gritty, but they weren't brave enough. These men are here to get all our furniture out. But why? We sold the house, remember? Aw, uh, Bingo didn't even understand what was happening. That's kind of adorable that she, she was okay with it because she didn't understand it. Oh, that's a great strat though. Like sell your house to someone else so you can rent it from them. <coughs> Bingo's doing the craziest deadlift of all time. Lift with your legs. Lift with your back, Bingo. Your form's all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a farmer who owned a horse called Midnight. But one day, Midnight ran away. Aw, this is cute ology. What a cute show. Wow, cute show with sisters that are cute. Can we get a cute counter on screen right now? Have you got any coins? No. Who carries coins? Ah, well, don't worry about it. Wait on. Oh my god, they're gonna zoom in and see depressed children, and they're gonna be like, uh, oh, we don't want to buy the house anymore. Depressed child spotted. Depressed child spotted. Oh my god, they actually are going to zoom in on depressed child. Oh, don't tell me that. And look what it's got. A pool. You telling me this is the most efficient way to look for a house? You don't go on Zillow or something? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have Zillow in Australia. I feel it in the morning. This is like a Rick and Morty season finale. <laughs> it is. You know what? It's fucking better. No, it is not. I feel how low it lies. He realizes it. I don't care if I made a milli off this bitch. I'm ripping this shit for my family, my sexy ass wife. I'm ripping that shit out the fucking ground. I don't give a cunt. You know, after Bandit pulls this sign out the ground, he got it tonight, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daddy he is. Like, this is how I'm gonna manhandle you, Chili. Chat, be honest. Did you guys cry at this scene? You know what I liked about that scene? The fact that the first person who goes up to him and hugs him is his wife. <laughs> Someone that's a spoiler alert, Bluey has a kid in this episode with Jean-Luc, bro. Is there another flash forward? And honestly, that, that would ruin the show for me. Bluey would never fuck with a Frenchman like that. I'm surprised Bluey would even talk to a Frenchman. Like, how does she even speak French? What is having children like? Oh, well... It's a bit hard to explain. There's something about this show, like it's a really cute and like good show. I'm just prefacing that so people don't get really angry at me. <laughs> Whenever I look at it, it just makes me angry. You know what I mean? Like I wish something edgy would happen. Like someone would get shot. Someone would get shot? What are you talking <laughs> about? Jack, you've been swearing since you came out of the womb. So like you wouldn't have even fucked with this as a kid. Well, I did fuck with Dora, but she be letting the shit slip though sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise you. I'm gonna shoot you with it. Bluey got the power level thing on her eye, bro. Oh, she has the scouter? Oh my god, dude. Dude, I should get my Goku Reese's puffs, bro. Start eating that shit on screen. Wait, 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 wait. 
This is so well animated. This entire sequence is so well animated. Oh my God. I keep wanting to complain about them being rich. I'm like, that toy's crazy, bro. How many balls are in there? Well, of course they're rich. They're starring in the most popular kid show right now. Oh yeah, they get a cut of the of the earnings. That toy is so messed up because it's fun for two minutes and then you have to spend 10 minutes picking up all the individual balls and putting them back. But that's playing with Nerf guns, bro. Making his move. This is the point that he puts it all on the line. Go, mate. Wait, what the hell is that sport? Is that Special Olympics? Oh, I didn't even realize that. I just assumed that's how a dog rides a bike for some reason. Hello? Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, as long as Bluey cleans up her mess, there's nothing wrong with this, you know what I mean? I feel like any logical dad watching this is like, okay, I'd let them get away with it for a minute, but Bluey's been fucking with you for so long at this point. Like, he's got to start screaming at some point. Let him watch his sports. That's just like the ultimate BM. Like you beat someone in a fucking shooting game and you're just sitting there shooting their dead corpse for like a full <laughs> minute after. That's like teabagging. Chucky's only let me this for today and I really want to play surprise. Uh, okay. Oh my God, it's not even hers. Her friend lent it to her. So they aren't rich. They're actually a struggling family. They're actually poor. Their friends also lent them the rent for the house. No, he needs to go to the hospital. Oh really? Is he okay? No, nah, his head doesn't fit on his body properly. Look at that idle animation from Bingo, bro. Like, everything is so well animated. It's adorable, and it's so smooth, and I love the way things move. I really love Bingo, because, like... Because it's better animated than Invincible for some reason. Oh, he won. That's the one I wanted to win. The lesson of the episode is leave your dad alone. That's so nice. That's such a sweet episode. <laughs> Oh my god, she's older. Oh, this is a future? What the fuck? There actually is a future episode. Does she have a kid? I like the the signifier that's the future is they have a Roomba. This makes me sad, bro. This makes me sad. Are you gonna cry? Cry about it. Hello? Huh. No one. That's weird. Oh my god, it's Bluey's child. Oh my god, it is her baby. Oh my god. There's no way. The chat message wasn't a joke. Oh my god, it's Bluey's kid. And it's a real gun this time. <laughs> that chat message that was fucking around, I thought that they were just joking, bro. I did not know she... That's a French Australian child. Shit, bro. I didn't know Bluey had lore like that, dude. Bluey has crazy lore, dude. Check out our Patreon. Bluey said that they really want you to give us money. Aromer, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnid Droid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon. Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub, Stargazer, Gunny Snile, Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics, Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropond, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merc, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Anis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randall, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Zam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit, Victoria.